With the spike of the coronavirus cases, businesses like the ones behind me are forced to shut down yet again. We uh, fumigate the bar, clean it very well, have a couple of uh, hand washing stations or uh, sanitizing stations. This bar owner says they have every precaution to keep their customers safe and staff safe. Sanitizing tabletops, wearing face masks and social distancing hopes to keep the virus at bay. We definitely are not doing the numbers we uh, used to do uh, on spring break, but we just have to, we've been through tough times before. This is uh, just another time to go through. Though some restaurants have shut down, it hasn't stopped other businesses from staying open. With the pandemic on the rise, it's affecting businesses here at the Strip Center and all over San Antonio. Christina Valdez, News 4 San Antonio. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Christina Valdez, an intern with News 4 San Antonio, practicing some at-home distancing. New this afternoon, city and county leaders presented their plan this afternoon. They are complying with Governor Abbott to reopen some businesses on Friday. Retail stores, movie theaters, malls, and restaurants open, but are limited to 25% capacity. Customers and employees are required to wear a mask at restaurants except when eating and drinking. Officials will be monitoring COVID-19 in four areas. Declining case numbers are testing capabilities, tracing contact of those diagnosed positive, and a prepared healthcare system. This morning, more than 150 breakfast tacos were given to the first responders at the Freeman Coliseum testing site. Don Pedro, Mexican restaurant owner, said they wanted to donate the food after Representative Philip Cortez purchased them. They also said it's the minimum they can do to help those who are on the front lines helping with COVID-19. New tonight on the southwest side, following a dispute when they could reopen, Trader's Village has gotten the green light. You can call it the grand reopening for Trader's Village just a week after they were told otherwise. The rides here at Trader's Village might be closed off to the public, but that hasn't stopped people from coming and experiencing what the market has to offer. 